maple. If you look at the twig, you'll see it's opposite if you look closely. Um, this is red maple. And red maple is lobed. It is palmately lobed, which means the lobes all depart from the base, from the center. Um, just like sugar maple. However, this leaf is covered in coarse serrations, unlike sugar maple. And the sinuses, the valleys between the lobes, are sharp. They are V-shaped, um, also unlike sugar maple. And we can get another sugar maple leaf somewhere. But I just wanted to, I know I talked about red maple earlier. I wanted to talk about it again. Sugar maple and red maple both often co-occur. You'll find them together in forests. Um, you'll usually find red maple at more extreme sites. So sugar maple is mesic. It likes pretty pretty middle, it's like Goldilocks, it likes the, the middle of the road sites, it likes medium moisture, whereas red maple will tolerate much drier and much wetter uh, soils. So very often if you go into a really wet area, you'll find, you'll find that sugar maple becomes replaced by red maple. And the same thing happens if you go from a medium area to a dry area. As you, as you go up into a rocky hillside, you'll find red maple replacing sugar maple. And so you can, you can kind of understand what, what kind of forest you're in. Typically, loggers will refer to these two trees as hard maple and soft maple, which is characteristic of their wood. Sugar maple is much harder than red maple, so sugar maple is just called hard maple, and uh, red maple and silver maple are both affectionately called soft maple.